welcome back to my channel and I just want to wish you a very very happy new year um, I know we're over a week in now and I know that I haven't been very active on YouTube for quite a while there's been a lot going on I will explain in another video when I can um, but today I just wanted to just play with makeup I just wanted to play with something that was bought for me for um, Christmas or birthday I don't want to do a video of everything that I got for Christmas and birthday because I just feel it's a bit like um, how can I put it I feel like it's oh look at me I got this I got that and that that really isn't me that isn't me I've been showing some of the products that I got on Instagram um, but no I'm not going to do a video of everything I've got I just don't, just don't want to just don't just not inspired to do it this year so yeah I hope you're keeping safe I hope you had a lovely Christmas or a Christmas that could be as lovely as you possibly could have made it because obviously I understand everything with the restrictions that came in um, it, it just made it very very difficult but I hope you made the most of it and if you were on your own, I just want to say to you that I really do feel for you and you're not alone. There are so many of us in this community that you can chat to. Never ever feel like you're alone because you're not. You just definitely are not. Um, I mean, you could always make a comment on this video and start a chat going. Um, so you, you're not alone. You could always message on IG and... You know I can introduce you to some of the people in my community because we've got a fabulous fabulous community of beauty babes um, and I'm so so proud of that because that is what keeps everything going that to me is what it's what I do this for I don't do this because I want to earn money or anything like that I do this because of the social aspect um, which again I'll come on to the fact that I haven't been very, very active, but there has been a lot going on with me personally, and I just, I just haven't, haven't had time to do, do this at all. So I thought now that we're in lockdown number three in the UK, for those of you that are out of the UK and have no idea what I'm talking about, this is lockdown number three for us. On the 4th of January, it was announced that we were going into total lockdown, primary schools were going to shut, um, and only the vulnerable children and key, or critical key worker children, were allowed to go back to school and all the other children were remote learning from school from home which puts pressure obviously on parents to make sure that they're doing what they're doing plus they still need to do their own jobs working from home um i i <laughs> i work at school and i'm still required to go in because we've still got children that need looking after so i still have to go in so it is really, really difficult. Plus, I'm doing some training at the moment. Um, it's just been, yeah. And there's also health issues, which, again, I want to talk to you in a, another video. Anyway, yesterday I attempted to do um, a first impressions, although my first impressions of this was not very good. So I've kind of binned the video. Um, there are a few bits that I might take from it and, and put into this, but... I wanted to do this again because I wasn't happy with what I'd done and didn't know if it was just me or if it was the palette. Now the palette that I'm talking about is Pumpkin Spice by Too Faced. Um, now this, ah, this is a very very pretty palette. It is a very very pretty, you can see that I've had a little bit of a, uh, a play in there. I haven't swatched it yet, um, I'm going to do swatches for you. Um, I'm undecided as to whether to do live swatches or to do my normal. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, I think I might. I don't know. I'm 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 two minds. But I wanted to give this another go because the look that I came up with yesterday, um, I I weren't I weren't really impressed with, if that makes sense. So I thought right, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this again. So this isn't kind of like first impressions. This is bit more of a review a little bit deeper this is like the third or fourth time that I've gone into this palette so anyway she smells of pumpkin pie um she does smell really really lovely and I actually done I will show you the look that I came up with um I'll do a little insert so you can see and I did use the shimmers but this shimmer was a real letdown so was this one 
and so was this one here. This, this one here, just, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, the mats are gorgeous, the mats are absolutely beautiful, but it was the shimmers that I found didn't really, they didn't really work to how I expected them to work, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do um, another look and some different colours and see what we come up with. So I'm going to do some swatches for you now. So have a look at those and I will be back in a few minutes to show you more, more of this palette. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure on what I'm thinking with this, I'm really not. So I'm now going to zoom you in and do an eye look with you, um, because you know, that's what I want to do, I want to play with some makeup. Okay, so here we go, so we've got, I'm zoomed in, all okay, so we've got the palette here. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I am going to be, the brushes that I'm going to be using are Lois brushes. They are just oh, incredible, just incredible. So I'm going to go in with this colour here, which is uh, whipping cream. So what I tend to do is just do under my brows and just kind of neutralise the yellow look that seems to follow me around totally. I mean, if you look, I, I look yellow. Um, um, I don't know why, I always look yellow. It does my head in. Um, I've tried all sorts of powders, I've tried all sorts of foundations, and I just end up looking yellow all the time. So anyway, I'm just popping this into my brow. The reason I do this is just to take that glossy look, because I do, I do sometimes find that I get like this this glossy look here, and I absolutely hate it. I hate it with a vengeance, it's just, I just hate it, I just hate it. So, okay, so I've got laid that down. Um, looking at the palette now, I keep thinking, what should I do, what should I do? Because the colour that I worked with yesterday was, was like these colours here, and then like with a, a purple look, and then I used this rose gold here. So I'm just having a look to see could do like a sunset look. I haven't done a sunset look in a long time. So I could do could do a sunset look. Um right, I'm gonna go in with do you know I'm gonna go in with pumpkin spice. I'm gonna go in with pumpkin spice. Now I know you don't need a lot with these mats because <laughs> see what I mean? Is like you you just don't need a lot, you just don't need a lot at all. Right, that's the wrong brush that I need. The brush that I need is this one. So it's just a little bit denser and it's great for packing on. Oh my goodness me, look at that! Wow! Wowie wee! I'll tell you what, I've got to say, I am blown away by the mats in this palette. I am blown away by the mats. So I don't want to take out all of my palette in the camera but I'm having to use a mirror so I'm just popping that in all over that crease so I'm just going to blend that out a little bit on the edges because I don't want it to be 
too harsh. We don't like harsh. We don't like harsh minds. Um, now, I, I use the lowest brushes all the time now. I don't use any other brush unless it's a brush that I don't own. So it's, I don't, I mean, I've got like foundation brushes, I've got eye brushes, but I haven't got her blush brushes. Um, so I do use other brushes where I don't have lowest, but I use the lowest brushes all the time. And no, I'm not affiliated with it at all. I don't have anything to do with it. Um, we just, you know, just totally in love with these brushes that she's come up with. You have to excuse my my brows. My brows are not perfect. They never are, but they're even worse now. Okay, so that's a really oh, that's that is beautiful. I'm just gonna go in a little bit more, just take that up a little higher. Because otherwise you don't actually get to see my eyes because my my hoodies are so bad. They're so bad. They just my lids just don't want to play. My lids are just very, very shy and like to hide away. So, oh, that is, yeah, that is rather nice. That is rather nice. So then I'm going to go in with Ginger Spice, uh, which is there. Hello, Jerry. How are you? I wonder if she, I wonder if Jerry Halliwell, or I can't even know what her married name is now. I wonder if she knows that there's a, a colour called ginger spice. She probably hasn't. She probably has no idea whatsoever. So, okay, so I'm just popping that in there, like so, just in that crease, just to darken that up a bit. Oh, these mats. I am blown away by the mats. I really am blown away by the mats in this. It's just the shimmers that I find an issue. I just think that they they could be better, and I'm actually quite surprised because Too Faced have always been. I've always thought that their formula is fabulous with their shimmers, but it's just not the case with this at all. Oh, that is pretty. I've done the usual. I have done my usual. I never ever, I've never done a video where I haven't dropped my brush. Never. See, a little bit patchy. Let me just put that brush in there a bit. Can't really notice it in the mirror in front, but I can see it on the screen. A little bit patchy, but oh my word. Just. Is it me or is does that say pumpkin to you? It says pumpkin to me. It says pumpkin to me. Okay, now I'm gonna go for. Mm, mm, mm. I um, do I go full on red? I'm not really a full on red person at the moment. I think I might just go in with this one here. I had had. Shall I do this? Shall I do this one or shall I do that one? Decisions, decisions. Third world problems, eh? What real world problems? I'm gonna go in with the red, which is you spicy. You're spicy. I think I just might put a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, I picked up the wrong brush. Right, um, this is this is dropped in the floor. <laughs> Um, this is a Winky Lux brush, which I do actually quite like. So I'm just popping that on my lid because I just want to get that variant. Just so it does look like there is a bit of red in there. Overdoing it, so let's just blend. Blend, 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 blend. Hmm, the more we blend, the less we offend. So that be done. Now to this is where I come unstuck. 
because shimmers not so good not so good um, for highlighting my inner corner see now this is where I struggle a bit so we're going to go in with oh my goodness which is this one here just to highlight in that inner corner I mean this just doesn't this is just beautiful colouring this is just gorgeous but again it's not particularly great to blend I feel almost like I'm having to paint this on That is such a pretty colour. Let's just blend that up. See, because I'm not that keen on the shimmers, I don't know whether to leave. No, I can't leave my eye like that, can I? Don't look right, does it? Right, okay, I am going to go in with the shimmer, and the only shimmer I can really go in with is this gold colour here. Um, and this gold colour here is called Full Vibes, more like Failed Vibes, but we'll go with we'll go with Full Vibes. Okay, so I'm going to go with this Full Vibes. Now I'm going to try with the lowest cosmetics brush, which I use for most of my shimmers. Um, we'll see how we get on, but this is like gold, so let's just see what happens. The problem is, this is so difficult to lay down. I mean, I think it could be stunning, but it's just so difficult to actually lay down. Um, I think I might have to use some glitter glue to pop that down properly. You know, with the finger, it's not quite so bad. I mean, that colour is just gorgeous. It doesn't particularly go with the pink on the inner eye. But the only thing I will say with these shimmers as well is that the fallout is insane. Fallout is totally and utterly insane. Right, okay, so let's, let's just blend into that crease a little bit. See the... The transfer of that is like glitter. It is like glitter. And I'm not particularly keen on glitter, if I'm honest. I'm not a glitter person. I don't ever use it on my eyes. I just I just don't. It's a bit of a sunset look. A bit of a sunset look. I need to wet that really, don't I? I've got anything I can wet that. Right, I'm going to be really disgusting. I'm going to wet with my finger. Right, let's see what happens now. Oh, see, now that's better. You've got, you've got to use it wet. bit is done so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in with this ginger spice colour here and just go in to that outer corner and buff that through see look at all the transfer that is definitely a glitter as opposed to a shimmer this fallout here is just crazy, absolutely crazy. Let's see if I can get rid of it. Nah, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so under the eye, I'm going to go in with this. Excuse me, under the eye, I'm going to go in with this. You spicy again, and just see if I can get that to make my eye pop a little bit. Beautiful. 
I don't know, what do you think? What do you think guys? Let's just pop a little bit of black eyeliner on that I would normally wear. What do you think? What do you think? I mean, um, I am honestly, I am like on the fence. I'm just so, I'm, I'm so disappointed with just the quality of these shimmers. They're just, they're, it's just, yeah. So anyway, we'll do some. I don't even know if I want to do the other eye. That is how I'm feeling about this palette. I don't even know if I want to do the other eye because I don't, I don't like it. I'm actually going to go and take it off. I don't like it. So, there we go. My review is the mattes are just absolutely gorgeous and the rest of it is pants. End of. End of. So yeah, I I don't particularly recommend this palette at all. Um, such a shame because that's, that could have been amazing. Really could have been amazing. See if if I'm not into doing all these artsy fartsy type eyes. I mean they're beautiful. I love watching other people do them. I think that they are incredible. Um, there are some really, really good, like, makeup artists that do beautiful looks on their own face. And they are absolutely incredible. And I can't do that. And, you know, I'm not going to try because my stuff got a tit. Um, so I just try and do stuff that I, wear, I would wear. Now that looks a bit better. Now I've done that. Now I've blended that a little bit. That does look better. My conclusion when I done my video yesterday was don't bother with this palette. And I've got to say, that is still my conclusion. I still, I'm very, very disappointed. Very, very disappointed with it. Um, yeah, I mean the mattes are superb. You know, they're just, actually, you know, just fun. Just for fun, because I am going to go and take my eye makeup off, because I just don't like it. I'm, I'm going to go into some of the other colours that we didn't use. So some of the other colours I didn't use, there's like this purple colour here, I bet this will look like nice. We like purple. So let's just do this purple colour. I mean it could be the base. It, it could be anything really. It just, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm using a different base to what I did yesterday. Um, I'm using MAC Paint Pop today. I used Revlon yesterday. Um, and it doesn't seem to have made any difference at all. Uh, let's just put in that. Now that purple is patchy as thick. That purple is so patchy. Just call me a patchy hun. Okay, so I'm gonna use this cup here which is a la mode. I'm just gonna try and blend that a little bit up the top just to to give it a little bit of dimension. I love the colour. Do you know, I love the, the greyish in this. The greyish colours are beautiful. They're my favourite. I love, I really, really love this colour. And I love that colour. And I love this colour here. And they blend so well. They blend so well. Um, the pumpkin coloured eyes the, in here absolutely beautiful until you, until you put the bleeding shivers on.
Yeah, see how I like that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then I decided that I'm gonna go in on my lid with this one a piece of me. One a piece of me, which is like this purple shimmer, which I didn't use yesterday. Let's see how we get on with this. I'm using a Morphe brush. See the texture. It's very crumbly. I want to say it's bitty. It's just it's not the best formula in the world, I tell you. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of um glitter adhesive onto my eyes. Let's just put that on there. Just I'm gonna put just a little bit and see how we get on because I've got a feeling that the glitter adhesive might actually make that look a bit better. Okay, so let's trouble is I'm not getting anything off off the my, my finger. Oh no, that's better. Okay, that's better. That's been done so that you use an adhesive clearly. But it doesn't work without it. Oh, okay. I'm going to zoom in. That has made a huge huge difference and then I'm just going to go in with this PSL and chill I went in with this yesterday and I was like mm, okay It's all well and good, but it really does emphasise the texture on your lids. That's the only thing I will say. It does emphasise that texture on your lid. Right, I'm going to try a little bit with that, that gold colour now. So, let's see how we get on. I'm using Profusion Glitter Glue, by the way, in case you're wondering. You're probably not, you're probably not even with me today, but yeah, it was one that I got in the advent calendar. It's really good, actually. I'm quite impressed with it, so far. Fail vibes. It's actually four vibes, but I'm going to rename it Fail Vibes. And then just lay that on top. See, the trouble is, it's like it then becomes very sort of muted. It becomes very muted. become almost foiled. That has changed that dramatically. Excuse the texture on my texture on my ball bag. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, let me zoom in. Look at that. So the only thing I would say is it just uh, that really emphasises the texture 
on my eyelid. So I'm just going to go in again with a finger. Ah, see, now that is on top with the glitter glue. Using a finger. That is just makes that foiled as heck. I mean, that is just foiled. But I don't want the faffiness of, of using a glitter glue. I I just wanna I just wanna play with makeup. I don't not interested in not interested in that at all. So yeah, my final thoughts of this pumpkin spice palette, it's pretty to look at. Um, I've got to say that the smell of it is now making me feel sick. It's overpowering. Um, yeah, I'm very, very disappointed. I might actually end up putting this on Depop. I didn't think I would say that, but I think I will end up putting this on Depop. So, that is what I think of that. So there you go.